so tired this morning because I went to a rave last night. I didn't sleep till like 4 in the morning. Hashtag team no sleep. You can sleep on Sundays, bitch. I'm just going to do a face mask. I want my skin to be nice. And also, this is this pink clay mask from Kibella. But I got it from Target. But I am so excited for the fashion show. Like, you guys have no idea. I love, number one, a reason to dress up. Number two, the artist. Number three, the creativity in the fashion. Come on. And whatever number we're on. I love representing Hmong community. All I have to do really is do my makeup, fix my hair, and put on my outfit. I do have to put lotion on, bitch, because I'm dry as a mother effer. It's literally 20 degrees outside, and I'm gonna be in a dress. I cannot look crusty, dusty, westy. Not today. I love being bougie. Mm. Hey, besties. So I just got out of the shower. Where am I going? Okay, I'll be right here. So I just got out of the shower. I'm just gonna show you guys my favorite skincare product. As you guys know, if I love skin products, I will use them again and again. But I've literally been using these two products for the longest time. I love these two. I'm breaking out just a little bit because of stress. But other than that, my skin's complexion has evened out so much. So as you guys can tell, I'm literally out of this, but I have another one. But I'm trying to like use the rest of it so I don't waste it. But this is the Good All Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Serum. So it has vitamin C really good for dark spots Sometimes vitamin C serums can be a lot for your skin because this one literally comes from green tangerine It's very gentle and anybody can use it even if you have sensitive skin It's also very moisturizing for your skin and then I'm using drunk elephant moisturizers I like this purple one. It's good for like repairing your skin barrier So if you have like a lot of breakouts and your top of your skin, you can tell it's like kind of you've got a little rip From your pimple or something. This is really good for repairing that Ta-da! Skin is all prepped. And also, these are how my nails turned out. I never actually showed you guys. Kitty claws. See? They look so good. I've never gotten my nails done like this, and I think they look so good. And my dress is white, so I just thought it would be pretty to do, like, a more neutral nail design. And also, I did do my toes. Don't mind my dirty kitchen, but yes, my toes are done. They're cute, right? I literally did my toes myself. Let's take these out. So, I curled my hair yesterday. I really like how my curls look when I sleep in them. Shall we get started? I always put clips up here because I have baby hair. Did you guys know that we're literally in the month of November? How and why are we already in November? You guys know it's almost 2023. It was probably the fastest year of my life because this year was probably the best year of my life. Like this year, I was pretty stressed out a lot. But with the negative, I think I also had so much positive out of this year. I moved because that sun was being mad irregular. I was doing my makeup last time and you guys asked me what the difference between doing makeup for photos versus doing makeup like for real life what is the difference between that because i always tell you guys like as long as my makeup looks good in the picture then you know that's all that matters to me basically like for photos i always have to put on a lot more product so that it'll show in the picture so like i'll put on extra blush bronzer you guys know i love contouring my nose i feel like i do go a little bit more overboard so like in person you can tell like i have contour on i just wanted to show in the photo like honestly i care more about my makeup looking good on picture than I care about it looking good in real life. Last time I was with my brother and he literally said, your makeup looks orange. We were like doing a family photo shoot. I said, be fucking for real. I get why you say that. Like I need a camera to pick up my makeup. One thing I've noticed is that if you do do like cream contour and cream blush, when you take pictures with flash, like with a professional camera or something, it definitely picks up the pigment a lot better than if you were to contour and put on blush with like powder so that is why i actually started doing cream contour and cream blush underneath my powder bronzer and powder blush to the eye it all looks the same but like when you're taking photos flash photography you can definitely tell there's more pigment in your skin if you do cream It's 
from Fancy Club. It looks like this. It has the strings like a jellyfish and I love it. No, cause bitch, why do I look so good? Look at this earpiece. I put on my outfit and I was like, I'm missing something. And I was thinking, do I have anything like, you know, fabuloso? I have this earpiece and I literally, believe it or not, I bought it for the last time I went to Mong Nouveau, but I ended up not liking it with my outfit. But this, with this outfit, oh my God, it's literally chef's kiss. I got this from Yes Style and then I have this necklace from Walmart. Full outfits. This is the cutest outfit I've ever worn. This, this, these I love. You guys can see my underwear underneath, but I do not care. I'm gonna be wearing these shoes. I look pretty. Hi guys, so we just took some pictures. I should have vlogged that, but I didn't. Let's show Joel's outfit. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> this What's is it? I thought it was a Yeah, where's your dress from? Oh, yeah. Set long sleeve. And that was cute. ชีชาสาลิกาเชจงเตชิกาชิปาวิกุญเตอโกตุนไซกาปกากุจานุมูกาอวนิปปอจงจานุมูชายมูวิสึตอกะเกกุจอกาตุนมินไซมูอชีม